Back with the update videos, we're taking a look today at the Saints' pass defense, which was just an abysmal unit. They finished uh, within the bottom five in interception interception percentage, yards per completion, and uh, pass percentage. So, you know, this was a unit that was awful at guarding the pass. They were really bad at turning the ball over, and teams just took advantage of that uh, constantly. But I wanted to just focus on three guys that – uh, they've invested in the draft recently, three young guys in their secondary that I think can be uh, positive contributors for them. I'm not, not going to say that this is going to be uh, you know, a pass defense that ends up in the top 10 or anything like that, but to go from you know, 27, 28 to maybe around 20th or even 19th, like if you can hit the teens, I think that you're feeling pretty pleased as a Saints fan. And the three guys that I think they – that I think could step up for them. First, their first round pick this year, Marshawn Lattimore, who uh, just kind of fell at the top 10. I think a lot of people had him as even a top five prospect, but some in, some concern to his injuries and uh, the way Ohio State rotated the cornerback so much uh, kind of led him to fall, but he's an athletic freak. He has really good ball skills. And I, I think when you look at his ab ability to mirror and play the ball in the air. He was right up there with guys like Marcus Peters in the past. So this this is a guy that can be a, a top corner for them. And they drafted Marcus Williams, the safety from Utah, in the second round. I, I, I do think that he got a little bit overrated on uh, draft Twitter. I, I think his instincts are a little bit overrated, but there's no debating his ability to snatch the ball out of the air. And he posted, a, you know, a freakish combine workout. So the, the tools are there. The ball skills are there. I think he needs to work on his instincts and his tackling. But it, it's easy to see why they wanted to spend a second-round pick on him when you just see the range he has when the ball's in the air like that. So he's able to come from you know, the middle of the field, single high spot, track that ball and pick it off. So, you know, if, if guys like Sheldon Rankins and Cameron Jordan can step up in Nick Fairley's absence and be the pass rushers that – athletically they, they can be, then this could be a, a, a unit that, that helps these young guys out in the secondary. And Von Bell, the safety from Ohio State, they drafted in the second round in uh, 2016. I, you know, I, I thought he was better versus the run last year than the pass for sure, but the tools are there, and he does have some nice instincts uh, to grow from. And obviously it was good for them to get rid of Jerry Spurd, who was just a, a colossal free agent bust for them over the past few seasons. So with – uh, hopefully Sheldon Rake is taking a step in year two and Cameron Jordan continue to be a pro bowler. And you get maybe these three young guys to step up in uh, Marshawn Lattimore, Von Bell, and Marcus Williams. Maybe this can be a unit that finishes below average instead of last in the league.